Welcome everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel. I am Jazz Imani and today I'm going to show you guys how to make um, a little bouquet with things that I uh, found at the Dollar Tree. And um, before I start, like always, let me say thank you to my new subscribers and welcome and welcome everyone who has already been subscribed to me. And um, anyway, let's get started. For this um, bouquet, what you will be needing is one of these. Um, and what you will be doing with it is you will be cutting it in half. And it already has the little marking, so you don't have to worry about, about it going crooked. There we go. And um, this guy's also, I already proved it. See right here? It won't melt if you put the glue just right over it. Neither will it on this other side. So this is pretty cool. Um, I've used the foam before and it kind of like melts because as you guys, well, I don't know if you guys know, but I use very, very hot glue. You will be needing roses. And um, I use this cardboard box that I got with my, um, I don't know, some kind of cans. So this will be for the bottom. And also from the Dollar Tree, <laughs> back in Christmas, I purchased uh, some gift wrapping paper. And guess what? This is pretty hard. It's uh, So this is what I will be using. Let me go ahead and cut it. Okay, I can get this out of the way. And... I'll get this one out of the way. You will also be needing some of these, the which I got at the Dollar Tree too. And uh, well, Dollar Tree has ribbon too, so um, this one I didn't get it there, obviously, but I, Dollar Tree has it too. Anyway, um, before uh, I forget, let me tell you, I will be using this, which is um, the Diamond Garland the which I already cut at the size. I just need to cut um, around. And how did I get the hole? All I did was just fold it in half and more or less uh, kind of figure out the whole size. Let's see if it will be. Yeah, it is. Okay. And you will need some foam, maybe, if you want to give it a clean look. And uh, also, I mean, well, see how... One color is white and the other one isn't, but look how messy it looks. It's This is going to go over it, so it really doesn't matter. But just in case you were to just find a regular uh, brown cardboard, you can always use this. Please make sure that the side that's going to be going down does not um, have the ink where you made the circle. How did I figure this out? All I did was put the other ball on top of it and traced. And also, um, for this, and just in case you do not have this, you can always substitute it with glitter, guys. Yes. But, however, do not use regular glue because it'll be falling all over the place. So, you can always use Mod Podge. You can always find Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree, too. And, of course, you won't need such a big thing. So, me, I already had it. And if you'd like, you can add a sealer to uh, make sure the the glitter stays. Okay, let me get started. May I please be excuse my baby needs to go outside. Hurry up. Go. Hey then, don't be crying. False alarm, you guys. <laughs> okay, so, oh, let's cut this. Okay. So I have pretty big hands and I would um, say this much goes inside this little ball. So I will cut it up to right here. You guys know by the, by the size of your hand, I go by the size of the hand of the person that we, it, they can hold it perfectly. Okay, there we go. See how hard it was? It was so awesome that I found this. Okay. And for here, all you will need to do is center it. Just press. Make your little hole. There we go. See? OK. 
Okay. And now let's get to the pearls. For the pearls, I will be using this one, these right here. All I did was just get, you know how it's already made. All I did was get it and hold it to the size that I wanted, which was that. And see how my wires are very long? Okay, you need them very long because it'll give them more stability. So in this case, they're way too long. So I will cut them to the size. And let me cut the other one, might as well. And there we go. What we will be doing is we will be gluing these pearls. Before anything, we will be gluing the pearls on here. How far down do you want the pearls? It's up to you guys. You want them way low like this. You want them to do this kind of thing. All you have to do is just move them up or down. And um, if possible, guys, uh, staple it. That way, if you don't like how that, um, the way you put them, you can always just um, take off the staple and that's it. It's good to go. Okay, so I want them right there. Well, you know what? There's a line right there. Where bend, which is half of the circle. I will go ahead and add this. And might as well do it right there, like that. Ouch. Okay. And see how it's not like very, very close to the to the board? It shouldn't. If not, it'll keep folding. Some more glue and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and add some silver let's make this silver I think I already have one in silver I do no nope. this one okay so I'm going to have this one in silver while well, that one dries let me cut this A wee smaller, then okay, there we go. This one it's not quite dry yet, so I'm not even going to mess with it. However, let's get this circle going. So I already know I'm going to use it right there. So all I'm going to do is go add, remember the ink part, it will go the bottom of this. And no shrimp. Shrimpy, no. Okay, there we go. Let's see? I'll worry about that later and uh, you see how I made the hole just a wee smaller don't worry everything can be fixed we can just add some rhinestones around it and it'll look like uh, that's what we meant to do so now that it's there we're going to cut around And remember, this doesn't necessarily have to be this. You can always use glitter. And I'm saying because, I mean, sometimes, why, why this uh, 
thing they they sell it to get it this thick they sell it in the big bulk and if you're just going to make this bouquet why do you want to buy the big bulk just go ahead and add some glitter or you can add little pieces from the dollar tree but it'll take just a little longer okay that's getting right there and let's see if this is dry it is dry see there we go uh-huh Okay, so now we're going to measure where we want the silver. And what's well, almost as um, long as the pearls. So you can either, in this kind of case, you can either cut to make it shorter or go a little higher on, or go a little higher on here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go higher. Remember to guys that this is a little hack for um to help you guys budget. I understand there's some beautiful brides that are on a budget. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with being on a budget. I'm on a budget all the time for everything. There's nothing wrong. Whether it is because you want to save money or because you really can't spend that much. doesn't matter. This is for someone on a budget. Okay. See how it's already there? Okay. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking off, well, I can just take it off with my hand. This, I'll just take it off. After I'm done doing that, I'll make it just a little deeper. Carve it some. After we're done, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding the glue right here so that we can put this thing on top. And I'm out of glue. Gosh, I don't even give this thing time to get hot, huh? Then we put this right over it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm. See, this is how it's looking. There we go. And then these, I should have cut these before the video. Sorry about that. If you want the green, you keep it. If not, well, it's up to you. And um, as far as what I uh, counted, it'll be seven roses around. Then the other layer will be five. And then the other one is probably going to be four. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I will make it a three color bouquet. I will add some pink to it because I already have that pink. Sorry, I do not have um white ribbon to make it all white and silver but i will add some pink i'm leaving the stems and for those of you that have not watched my videos before i always recommend that you glue this little part see how i put glue right there yes and there'll be some roses that i forgot to put glue on them so they might fall off as i'm making this uh, bouquet however i don't want that to happen to your bouquet so if you may please add some glue. Just a tiny piece. Okay. And pom pom, stop it. Okay. Now that we have this, don't forget, you must look first which is the part that goes up, which is the part that goes down. As I recall, the 
I had put the silver higher, so that's why I know. And this, don't worry, we'll fix it in a little bit. Let me go ahead and fix it. Okay, there we go. See? Okay, or right, let's see how it looks with the silver. Hmm. I like it. Okay. All right. So we will put some glue here. My glue stick fell. And stick the rose in there. Possible hold it. I will not be holding it because, well, I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible, but since you guys probably will have more time than I do right now, you please do hold it. How far apart will you put them? It depends on the row size. It depends what kind of rose you're using too because if you're using the foam roses well those take a little due to the to the bottom being a little thicker they do take a little more distance I put my fingers inside to push. And then I put the other rows in. The last one, you guys are probably thinking, thank you. Well, the last one on the bottom. <clears throat> and guess what? It's the one that doesn't have any glue. Okay. We'll go to our pink roses. And I do not want the green. Oh, the baby breath that these have, maybe. Yeah, they'll look good. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but these are two different size roses. So the bigger the rose, guys, the less roses you'll need. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be putting it in between the whites. You want to see? Yeah, it's in between the whites. Again, I stick my thumb in there. Let's see, in between the white, there we go. Nobody. 
And these, of course, I didn't put any glue, but since I'm already There we go. See how it's shaping so pretty? I can't play right now, baby. You need to go up, go over there. Don't touch this. It's hot. Okay. In between the white. Make sure your stick is or your wire is straight, guys. If you'd like to add more roses, by all means, do. This required two, four, or oh, seven, two, four, five, and five. Uh, should we put a white rose to see how, what it would look like? Let's see. Let's, <clears throat> let's kind of get creative here. Okay, let me cut this because remember we're going to be inserting that, um, that, um, Wrapping paper roll. Okay. Huh. How about that? Not bad for Dollar Tree, huh? Ah. And, uh, mm -hmm. And if you want to add more pearls, by all means, do add more pearls. There's no limit of, in the quantity of roses you'd, you'd have to add. Okay, and before we start putting everything else, where is my, this one? We're going to go ahead and add it right there. Like so. And you guys know these are hacks, right? I'm not making a professional, professional, um, what is it called? Um, bouquet. It's, it's, um, <clears throat> I'm showing you the way to make it. However, I'm not spending all, all the time that I would, if I would be selling this bouquet. Okay. And then for this, uh, if you want to add the, E6000, you can, if not, since we already know that this ball doesn't melt, we can just fill it up, make, put some on this to make sure that it's going to hold, put it in there, mm -hmm. You think anybody can tell that this is from Dollar Tree? No, that's the whole point. Yeah. Okay, now for the bottom part. This was what I had thought, what I had in mind. Just putting a piece of ribbon, because you need to cover the hole, right? Just put a piece of ribbon. Make sure it's covering the hole. The size of this ribbon is, um, oh gosh, I'm not wearing my glasses. Um, can you guys hold it out there? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I think it's one and a half inches. Okay, or you can always add a little piece of felt. You can find these at the Dollar Tree too. They're one dollar, of course. That's what I love about Dollar Tree. 
And then we add on the sides. Push down. Is there other ways to do this? Yes, there's a lot of other ways, guys. Don't think this is the only way. No. I have uh, my other videos, so you're welcome to watch my other videos. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can always watch my other videos and see um, how is it that I do this for other bouquets. There we go. And see how you can see the brown right there? We can always add another piece of ribbon, so which I'm going to do so that I can, you can, in case you have this video muted, you can still know what I'm doing. I know I talk very loud, guys, so I'm sorry. Or you can put some felt. It's up to you. It's your bouquet, remember? Or your daughter's bouquet. I don't know who you'll be making it, if you'll be making it for yourself or for someone else. If you're using a very hot, high heat glue gun, please be careful, guys, because I, I probably don't even have fingerprints anymore. I don't know. I must have lost them about, I don't know, <laughs> 20 years ago. And then you just add this. Okay, so you're going to measure it. So, oh, please excuse me. about that okay since we already know that I mean it's, it is a little cylinder thingy we just measure it to the same size and you guys you guys do need to put a whole bunch of glue right here I'm just going to put a little bit because this bouquet is not going to stay like this To need another piece of this. Stop, shrimp. Baby, you need to stop. He's fighting with my other. Friend. Stop. more ribbon on top all the way to the top guys like in the the way I'm adding these beads or this, um, diamond garland if you'd like or you don't have to make it all in the garland see how pretty is that mm -hmm. What I will do is, let me make it pretty. I will add this with just a little twist. We can make a little bow, right? Yes, we can. If not a bow, just a little knot. And make sure that these are cut. And I do not have a lighter handy at the moment however um, I do recommend that you please burn let slightly these little edges 
otherwise your bouquet, your ribbon is going to um, mess up. Okay, so we will add the ribbon. We wait for it to dry. And meanwhile, and I was noticing these little things right here, you know, um, you can always add more flowers, which let me show you. Yeah. You can add more flowers, or if you would want, you can always put glitter on this too. And that's it. It's very, very easy. And once again, you can get the Mod Podge and the glitter at Dollar Tree as well. And you'll have yourself um, less than $10 bouquet. See the difference? Oh, my pearls are going to get stuck. Yes. And since this is already dry, all I'm going to do is make a little knot. Make a little knot, see? Just tie it. Knot. And it's up to you if you'd like to add um, something like this. These are, oh my goodness, 25 millimeter. Um, what is it? Um, rhinestones, and um, or you can add one of these little rhinestones, you can add rhinestones to it. So, there we go. Uh huh. How do you like that? Yes, okay. And, um, well, we could always add um, this, which is from the Dollar Tree as well. And I don't know about you guys, I don't know what you guys think about this, but um, I think that uh, Winter Wonderland doesn't necessarily have to be all white and silver. You can always add um, another color. So there we go, see? Or if you'd like, you can also add some of these rhinestones, the witch, of course. You find at the Dollar Tree as well. Use some on every rose. Just a little piece. On every other petal. Um, as I was saying about the winter, winter, winter wonderland, these are um, snowflakes I found at the Dollar Tree. These two, what you can do, add some Mod Podge, add some glitter, and stick the little, um, uh, what is it called, the little snowflake in there. See the change it gives it. Yep. Yeah. And you can add some flop um some ouch. Some um some pearls. I'm sorry, I forgot about this one. Okay. You make sure they have wire. If not, that's going to happen, which has happened to me. Then you just add uh, Add some glue, add some glue right here, put it in right there, and voila, you like it? <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please do not forget to um, subscribe. I am always um, happy to help everyone. So, um, till next time, I love you guys, and you guys take lots of care.